Well, 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 well. The Chiefs win it all like I predicted it myself. You know the vibe. Uh, it's your boy Jay. This is Real Sports Talk. I want to talk about the Chiefs game. First off, no, I'm not a Chiefs fan, but I am happy for two reasons. I'm a Cowboys fan, so the 49ers have the same amount of reasons as still. Happy about that. And also, there are multiple Cowboys players, Damian Wilson, Anthony Hitchens. They used to play for the Cowboys and not play for the Chiefs. So I'm happy for them, and I'm a big fan of my home and Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill fan, so I'm happy for them. You know what I mean? They got the dub. They did exactly what I knew they was, what I said that they were gonna do. They showed that they had more heart. They showed they protected their quarterback. Kyron Home was able to get his throws off. You know, they struggled for a big part of the game in the middle, but they were able to get back to their way and they got that momentum when that first touchdown came, you kinda knew what else was gonna happen. It didn't matter. You know, the biggest word for the Chiefs this postseason was momentum. When they got momentum, they were just able to score, score, score. And on the defensive side, hold them off, you know, get turnovers on downs and, you know, really make, you know, get back into the game. No matter if it was the Texans defense and the Tech and the Titans. And people say, oh, it's a 49ers defense, it's a different defense. But at the end of the day, what happened? The Chiefs still won. They are victorious. They are the champions. And I'm happy because I was right. And you know, you love to be right. You know what I mean? Chris Jones had a really good game. Like I told, like I said, he was supposed to have. He got multiple pass deflections. He was able to get fresh on the quarterback. And he dominated. And he was able to stop the run and do what he needed to do at the defense tackle, at the force on that defense. The corners played really well. You know, they, you know, they kept composure. They didn't get out of place. They did what they need to do. They stayed, they kept their mind on the prize because they knew all it takes is one. All it takes is one score to win this game because they knew in the back of their head, no matter how much we down by, if we get that one score, that momentum is gonna drive us all the way back. And it did. I'm talking about even after they tied the game, they still had momentum. Damian Williams getting that big old run back. You know, the corner getting the pick. I mean, they was just doing their thing all around and you can't be nothing but happy for them. It's been 50 years in the making. That's twice the amount of time it's a cowboy. So that's like if my if I was if I went another 25 years without a Super Bowl, that's how long that is. So it was in 50 years of making. They haven't won a Super Bowl in 50 years. I don't even think they won that yet. But they got a Super Bowl now. The Chiefs deserve it. And I'm happy for Pat Mahomes. First of you know, first Super Bowl, but I promise you it won't be the last. That guy is tough and that team is lit and they are tempted. I mean, and on the 49ers side, real quick, the 49ers kind of got filled full of themselves. They got a 10. They kind of laid back. They weren't able to, you know, stop the Chiefs from scoring the ball. They, it, it started to look like it was going to be like Seahawks versus Broncos, where they were just going to dominate them, and they were just going to score when they needed to, you know, and it was just going to be a defensive dominant game. But Pat Mahomes said no, and they weren't able to stop Pat Mahomes and that Chiefs offense. And on the defense side, Jimmy Garoppolo got called out for what he was. Stephen A. Smith has not been sold on him all year, and he got figured out why he's not sold on him. He's not that guy. He's not as good as everybody think he was. He wasn't able to make the plays when needed to. He wasn't able to put the ball on the money when needed to, and that's why they lost. And on top of that, the running game was good, but it was not as great as it was in previous games. And I got to get into the Chiefs because they did their thing. The 49ers are still a really good team. They're still going to come back next year with a vengeance to do better. And they're still scary. You know what I mean? But the main thing is, they had, they've been inconsistent somewhat this year. As crazy as that is, to say for how dominant they've been. They've been in these type of games all year. And they've lost these type of games at points this year. You know what I mean? And they're a really good team. Their front four is great, which is always, in my opinion, the most important thing you can have on a football team is a great front four. And just want to say, you know, 49ers on them had a great year, but the Chiefs had a better one, and that's why they are the champions of the NFL. They are the 2019-20 season champs. Pat Mahomes probably on MVP. My personal pick is Damian Williams because he did his thing. Damian and my boy at the defensive tackle, Chris Jones did his thing, and I'm happy for all of them. Even though I'm not a fan, I love football, and I can't wait for next week. If you're watching the SFL, give me a hey. If you're watching the SFL, let me know. But like I said, man, great ending to the season. What a way to end it. And I know Andy Reid going to Waffle House to get him some burgers after this game. And that's a fact. Big facts. All right, I'm out. Peace.